Just something to note. I'm not sure if that I am correct in saying that. Maybe I've just got a poor memory. Having a look. Oh my god, that's some that's damage options for sure. I think these are correct. Well, pretty correct either way. Taking it to the center of the map, diving straight forwards there. They've gone for the assassination. She's used the other side correctly onto herself there. Panic does connect though. Montreal. There was no bulwark to stop the damage there. They've got the stun down on the flank. Nami is able to jump away from this. Orb appears. Van Grid using... Oh, really excellent use there. The toxic blades. But he does get feared away. From the center orb, Jordan now has an ultimate available for himself. There it is, the iframe! The dodge! Perfect use. This is what I was talking about earlier on in the stream. I want Croak to save those, but Montreal took too much damage on the back end there. Now he's going to be in a really poor situation for this 1v2. Has the ultimate though! There it is! Gets the auto attacks down as well! Excellent jump there though. Using that perfectly. He needs to be able to dodge this. No, wasn't able to. They're now in such low health. Land the right clicks. Heal yourself up, dude. <laughs> Slicing through each other. Go pick up the green orbs. Go pick up the green orbs, my dude. No, opting to go for the center orb instead. But that means it's going to open it up for a right click. Bulwark used. He has the blades. He has the shield. They're so low. Right click. Connects. He's still alive. Is he going to be able to outplay this one? The jump gets used. He goes forwards. Bulwark picks up the hill orbs for himself. Jumps forwards. Auto attack. There it is. Vangrid. Wins the 1v2 situation with the croak there. God damn. That's how I like to see it played. He was two off of having all top of the leaderboard there. That's my man of the match right there, just off of round one. I'm really liking how his play's being used there. Didn't fall for the spirit win, so we didn't get the fear onto him. Block not massively effective. Montreal just, Montreal, just needs to position a little bit better and stay alive a little bit longer. And then this will just be an easy 3-0. She's getting dived on by Jord right now. But that is absolutely okay. As long as Vangrid's able to take it. If, if it's a one-for-one, one, it just works for Vangrid. Because Croak's such a good 1v2 character. Ultimate. Oh, no. The ultimate does connect on the bottom side. But now Konami having to force her own F. To heal the back up. Montreal's in a really poor position now. And that is going to be the end of her life. But Konami, with no energy, and also pretty low, is definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely a target for the Croak ultimate, which connects yet again. She needed to use the right click on herself there, and she didn't. So, going to drop down. Jord does have an ult for himself. Could have been a good opportunity to use it just then. As he'd already used the space, but honestly, I wouldn't go for it. Okay, does it anyways. Vangrid should have been able to dodge that if you really had the, the correct reaction time. If I was Jord, I would save the energy and use it on my EX enhanced abilities instead. Red team able to connect the auto attacks onto the orb that he needed to. He's got the energy for the ult now. Is he going to use it? Doesn't need to. Doesn't care. Heals on the other side. Dodging that. There it is. And once again, the 1v2 situation. Excellent shield there for him, but that won't be able to last for too long. Frog leap. Secure that. <laughs> the Vangrid dab. Pogchamp in the chat. Is this going to be it? Is this the third round? It's just going to be a clean 3-0 because Vangrid's Croak, which for some reason he didn't want to play in the two previous games, is just better than uh, Blue Team just overall. Is, is this going to be the situation?
Jumping forwards. That was a good slice. It caught both of them, but does get panicked. Backs away from this one. Good dodge of the leap. Prioritize the center. They get it for themselves. Good energy. But Vangrid's a little bit lower than he's been on previous rounds. Reaching about half health for himself. There gets the panic off. Oh, no. His positioning has not really worked out in this round. Maybe got a bit too ballsy of himself. Got a bit too confident after the two 1v2 outplays there. Forgot that there are actually other teammates, typically, and most of the round. Ultimate using their really good health bars right now. Oh, excellent Toxic Blade stun. He didn't use the EXQ, though, which is what a typical Croak would be doing. In fact, he's not used it all game, and there's the... Oh, that ultimate from Jord. Not much energy for himself, though, but not much health for Red Team now. Kill sucks. Look like they're going to be losing this round. Panic drops down as Montreal does drop. It's now the 1v2 situation yet again, but he's so low this time. Is he going to be able to do it? Gets the right click down. Other side being used really well. Jumping for this. Gets it. Panic. Connects. Has the ultimate. Does get it, but he's so low. So low, but they stood next to each other as well, which meant the damage connected onto both of them there, but that's it. Center orb is where they lose. Finally, blue team wins a round for themselves. He's done it again. He's gone too far forwards. Maybe that was an issue of Montreal not being there to assist. Maybe she focused too far on the center orb, which wasn't up quite yet. Blue team are able to get that selves for themselves. Jord is really high on energy right now. Should be able to get the ultimate. Does onto Vangrid. He wasn't able to dodge it with the frog leap. Right click doesn't connect to anyone. Goes for the stun. Really struggling to survive right now. Red team does get the center off for themselves. So that's pretty good. Leaping yet again to get away from damage. Root twice. Right click. Not good. Montreal has ult. See if she can use it effectively now. There it is. Jord. Ah, oh, just about gets out of it. With the red team taking the orb there. They're getting it even closer to a tight series. Shield being used really well there though. And able to stick together pretty nicely. I jinxed it. I said there'd be a swift 3-0 from Vangrid. And I was wrong. <laughs> the intensity, exactly. This is getting insane now. It's the Vangrid dab that ruined it. He's, he's done a little bit better for himself on this round. Again, he's taken quite a bit of a beating in the early rounds, but at least Red Team were able to secure the ult for themselves. Konami's going to use that to heal herself back up. Vangrid's jumping. No! 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 He jumped right into that. Took so much damage because of it. Does get the stun onto Konami, but she uses the Spirit Wind to just back away safely. Ah, this is going to be a blue team round. And there it is. Picking up the ore for themselves. Kind of securing it in the bag. There we go. <laughs> Fuck you, Ollie. <laughs> oh.